I don't want a mic. Can I talk like this? Okay. No? Like you can all hear me? Yeah, don't mind. Yes, okay. Okay. I'm Okay, I'm Austin Leach, and like everybody, uh, you'll hear after me. Uh, I have gone to church since as long as I can remember, and I've been in this building since first grade, uh, so that's a joy. And I'll be attending a Christian college in the fall. So to say that I've been surrounded by the gospel and biblical truths uh, is kind of an understatement, and I'll continue to be surrounded by it everywhere for the next four years. Uh, a little bit about me and like my high school highlights is uh, playing sports, learning about apologetics, being a student leader, uh, getting involved in worship is probably the biggest one. Um, and a little piece of side advice is always try something new, because that's where half of like the passions that I have now are. That's where I found them, trying something new in the last few years. And another fun fact about me is that I love movies, and they know. I, ask any of them, I'm always watching a new movie. Um, and they're probably sick of it, but um, I'm always going to talk about them. And movies are where I get great advice and quotes that I will carry with me for however long I remember them. And in my most recent movie that I watched, I was kind of like, I didn't write my senior challenge yet. I'm going to go do what I always do when I need to get something done. I'm going to watch a movie. Right? So I watched the movie, and this movie was Passengers, starring Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. Um, and I believe I found one of those quotes that's going to stick with me. Um, so this is the robot bartender quote. <laughs> it says, you're not where you want to be. You feel like you're supposed to be somewhere else. Well, say you can snap your fingers and be wherever you wanted to be. I bet you still feel this way. Not in the right place. Point is, you can't get so hung up on where you'd rather be that you forget to make the most of where you are. Take a break from worrying about what you can't control. Live with it. So like I said, this quote is given to us by a robot. Um, and for you, I'd be asking why is a robot, that's a bartender, giving life advice? So a little premise on the movie is Chris Pratt is on a space voyage, and he uh, wakes up a little prematurely from a sleeping pod. Um, and he's the only human on the entire ship. And so he has a robot bartender to keep him company. Right? No more questions. Um, so this advice is given when Chris Pratt's character doesn't feel like he can go on in a situation. Um, this is true for me a lot and probably all of us here and will continue to be kind of the story of our lives um, and I know personally uh, in high school it's very easy to feel like you need to be anywhere else and at the snap of your fingers it would be so nice to have all of the problems vanish but it's not true and the robot bartender tells us that we'll feel the same way just because we run from the problem doesn't mean we're going to stumble onto our solution um, there have been many times this year where I felt like if I was at a different school, if I could go to college now, that I'd be happier. Uh, but that's just me. That was the problem. Um, throughout this year, I've learned through various trials that often where I am is right where I need to be. I found that the more I think about the future and daydream of my life in the fall, which sounds so sweet, uh, the more I forget about those that are around me and I forget to enjoy my current circumstance. Um, now this quote, uh, made me think of these Bible verses. So Ephesians 5, 15 through 16 tells us, Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Or Matthew 6, 34. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And lastly, Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, supplication, with thanksgiving, Present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Um, so I read those verses uh, to show that there is something that, that this is something that the Bible backs up. It's not just me, it's just robot advice. Um, and it's advice from, it's from the written word of God. Um, lastly, the robot bartender tells us to live a little. Uh, this needs to be taken carefully. It doesn't mean go do what you want whenever you want, because it's what you want to do. I think it just means that you, should, you shouldn't let your bad situations or tough times keep you from living your life, trying new things or diving deeper into God's Word. So I challenge all of you, it's a new challenge, I challenge all of you to keep this in mind, um, that whether, like Mr. Key was talking about, if you're weary or just anything, just don't forget to live your life 
and remember that this might just be right where you need to be. So keep that in mind, take it to heart, and I'll try to remember it as I go on to the college as well. Thank you.